Hey guys and gals, this is Jesse with uh, Fixing a Blind here. Today what we're going to do is we're going to be cleaning out the air conditioner coil. We're going to be using this product here. It's uh, made by New New Calgan, Calgan, whatever. It's a uh, evap foam. This is a no rinse kind. So basically it relies on the, the con condensation from the coil to rinse itself. Anyway, so what we've got to do is we've got to take this, this piece out here and this little screw. And it's just a little quarter turn. And then it should come down. There we go. And that's where your filter is. You can kind of see up in there. There's quite a bit of debris built on. Let's see if we can get you guys in closer. All right, you can see that a lot of the coils, a lot of the fins are clogged. See the debris up there? And that's what we're gonna clear out here. So you need to make sure that you have uh, your power turned off because you can see we've got a lot of electrical things up here. I don't know, I don't know what this one's for, but it's just there, not hooked up to nothing. All right, so what we gotta do is just take this can, shake it up pretty good. Now this stuff you can spray upside down, inside out, right side up, doesn't matter. Just spray. Sorry, let me get this cap off here. All right, so now we're going to just kind of spray it up in here. Now the can says start at the bottom, work your way up. So that's kind of what we're going to try and do. All right, so I'm going to get this sprayed on there real good, and then I'll get back with you guys. Let's get this light up in here so you can see. And see, I've got it foamed up all the way to the top. Let's see, can you guys even see anything? See all that foam up in there? We got it foamed up all the way. Now we're going to let that sit for just a couple of minutes. And it's kind of dripping here, so I'm going to grab a towel and put it down. But uh, basically we're going to let that sit. We're going to give it, say, five minutes to kind of soak. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the air conditioning on. And we're going to let it run. And... We're going to, we want it to run for a couple hours because how that rinses that foam out is by that condenser coil getting cold and, and then condensing moisture onto it and then running it down. And so after a couple hours here, I'll, uh, we'll come back out here and we'll get some, some pictures for you afterwards. Alrighty, I already put the, the clean filter up here. Um, I took some pictures of the, the after of the... Um, the coil up there because um, you could see that a lot better than in the video um, basically to put the to put the ugh. to put this back up there's a little tab here and tab here they go into a hole you tip it up push this in and turn it a quarter turn and she locks right in but it's as easy as that to maintain this now you should be doing that you know with as much as we use this air conditioning um, because we rent it out we do this probably about once every two months um, on a standard RV, you know, if you just use it for the weekends every now and again, you should probably be doing it once a year. Or so. so one of the better ways to figure out if this is starting to get clogged, um, out your little, your, your side dumps here, open them up and you'll notice that there'll be less air movement coming out of it. And um, that simply just means that you got a bunch of junk built up in there. Now these filters that are in here are very coarse filters. They don't, they don't take care of very much of the dust. So, um, it, it, they build up stuff quite quickly when you use it continuously. Um, if you have a long-term stay place and you're and you're living in your RV, you're probably going to want to do this once a month, once every two months to maintain this during the warmer months. Um, but anyway, you guys got any questions on this? Let me know. Oh, um, this product, okay, this is for the evaporator side only. Don't go on the roof and use this on the condenser side unless you get up there with the hose and you rinse that off. Okay, um, the, the reason that it's no rinse on 
on the condenser side is because when the coil, right, this is the cold side of the coil on the inside of the unit, um, it, it condenses moisture in the air and takes that takes the moisture out of the air, but it condenses on this coil and all that rinses right down into the pan on the roof and right off. But anyway, you guys have a great day. Thanks, bye.